those of you staying in a house and they are beating you upright and inside out. Why are you staying? I will not stay. I didn't stay. Anytime Pastor Ina did, I left. This was in America, not in Nigeria, where I would gather a crowd for him. No, in Nigeria, I would gather a crowd now. You remember when we started family worship center, we were fighting one day. I called the church. I said, we are fighting. No, come and separate us. Therefore, I say, any man beat you, leave. I've told you this story before. One day, Pastor Ina and I were married. When we, when we first married, we were quarreling. And I was pregnant with blessing then. Driving from beauty school. I used to go, I did beauty school, cali- cosmetology. We were fighting. We were arguing in the car. We were so broke. So everything was tight. We used to quarrel over 25 kobo. It was not funny. One of the days on the highway, prr, we borrowed one somebody's beetle. And we were driving past. So he now got angry and hit the car. Boy, it went full. It almost hit the median. I kept quiet. Because here was I very pregnant. You know what? I kept quiet. He talked, talked, talked. I didn't say a word again because I saw my life was going. When we re- went home, I cooked. We ate. We slept. The next morning, he went to work. When he came back, he didn't see me. I was gone. You know why your husband has been beaten and beaten and beaten? It's because you have been hiding it. That one time, I left the house. He looked for me for one day, two days, three days. And then he began to pray. And I went and stayed in somebody, his friend's apartment. He didn't think I could ever go there. I went and stayed with the girl for days. And you know what? I exposed him. And when pastor found out, he cried that day because he didn't know that what was happening around him then had entered him. Because you grow up seeing what your father does or uncles and all, and you take it, you think that is the right thing. He didn't know he had that capacity. Another time, we were arguing again, he jacked me up and pulled me. Of course, my mouth runs, you know. Is there a woman whose mouth doesn't run? That's how we were made. We don't have power, but we have a mouth. God gave you power and gave us a mouth. God is a faithful God. He does things in just. He's a God of justice. He put, your, he put mouth in my mouth and he put power in your body. So that all the advantage will not be on one side. Imagine if I have the mouth and I have the power. You'll be dead. So I must have said something that got him and he jacked me and put me on the wall. And then in the process, he scratched me accidentally. When the, when the anger finished and he saw the scratch, my husband went down and wept like a baby. And then started working at, on himself. So Pastor Ina did not become a good man overnight. He, he made one, two, three mistakes. And then he said, no, I can't be like this. And he changed. We still quarreled and argued, but it never came like that. A man beat you once, you keep it, he will beat you again. Once you have beaten a woman, you will beat her again. You must look for help. If he looks for help, come back. If he doesn't look for help, go. God forbid you stay in family worship center and be beaten to death in the name of for better, for worse. The worst was not supposed to come from home. The worst was supposed to come from outside, things we cannot control. You say, Pastor, I'm going to stay for the children. No, you're actually hurting the children. So don't stay in an abusive marriage. Look for help. Come to church. We will help you. Being married is not a guarantee. It does not make you any superior than anybody. In fact, he said, if you're out of a marriage, stay unmarried. It's better to be unmarried. I lie down how I want on my bed. I eat what I want. I wear what I want. Nobody's telling me, do me this. I want pound a day. I'm at two o'clock. 